Let me start by saying in the description box I have some timestamps. So that if you don't want to spend the entire 25 minutes seeing what I have done with molds and bottles, click ahead, jump around. I got this idea because I bought these molds to embellish a piece of furniture and that will be another post at another time. And I had all these bottles left over from my daughter's backyard wedding. I decorated the backyard with lights and flowers and used these bottles. Again, another post for another time. But because I fell in love with these molds, I decided, hmm, I have a few ideas. So what I'm doing in this video is showing you some multimedia projects that you can do embe embellishing these bottles, embellishing a board, and embellishing just about anything you want. I don't think I show it in this video, but you can do this to canvases too. And towards the end, I came up with an idea to combine some decoupage along with this process. And in my next video that I'm editing now, I fine tune the skills that I'm learning here. But this one is the basics that uh, you can learn right along with me. So please enjoy, skip along, ask me questions, and leave me advice because I'm always looking to learn. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoy it. <clears throat> Made some flowers with some model magic. I'm gonna pop them out of here. Well, this is still pretty damp because I want the model magic to be real pliable and it doesn't dry completely. See, here's one that's been done a while ago and here's one now. But I wanna put it on this bottle, so I want it very pliable. So, I'm gonna paint it on. Get some glue on there. I guess you could use some Elmer's glue. That would probably work. This is wood glue. I have eat, tried and it works great, but it's not good to get all over yourself is the Gorilla Glue. I mean, that really works well, but it's also not too forgiving. So... And I'm just placing this on there. I went in the other direction. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there's one flower on there. Now, let's get another flower on there. And this is a redesign with Prima mold. And you can get them from different affiliates. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on Etsy. There is one affiliate I really enjoyed using, and I can't remember their name. I'll put it in the description bar but I'll try to find the links I would definitely shop around for them each one of them has a name and when you go on and you find them then you can shop by name and I have so many I guess I, I'm going to make a library I guess it's time I make a library of all the things I use so that when I'm asked I can get to it quickly and I'll put where I got it and as I say, each one of them, I forget what this one is called. It's like, like winter blossoms and they're called things. So when you're searching and you want to see who might have the best price, you can search by that name. Or if you're loyal to one person who's been pretty good about orders and whatnot. I know with my stencils, for instance, I ordered stencils. I think they're called Maison, and uh, I don't know where I want this baby. 
Hmm. Let's put them up here. And um, I knew right away one of them was missing because the package was too small. So I thought, well, they didn't fold the stencil, did they? That wouldn't be very good. And I opened it up. It was missing. And I let them know. And my goodness, he came the next day. They were so nice about it. So when you, you find a... Can I pop this next one up and see if you can... What I like to do, I just kind of start them and push from the bottom so they kind of let loose. And with this model magic, you don't need to put down cornstarch or anything like that. You can, uh, if you let them set up for a few minutes, they come out a little easier if they just, because as they, they'll start to air dry. But I don't want them to be perfect, perfect, because I want to stretch them out a little bit. And you just kind of peel them out then, peel them out. I'm not sure where I want to put him either. Well, it'll just. And I didn't prep this bottle. Sometimes I prep them first by mod podging some tissue paper. This time I just decided I'm going to put these right on. And then I think I'm just going to. I might even spray paint the bottles for some nice spring colors. These aren't even spring flowers. I don't. I don't know if they're dogwoods. I will put it below. By the time I edit this, I'll know the name of it. And the leaf that I have on here isn't part of this stencil, but I just wanted to put it on here. See, if you try to put on the ones that are already dry, they're a little, they're a little tricky. A little tricky. See how easily this went on because it was still damp. Now, if you have littler ones, this was dry, so it's still, I'm still working with it to get it to stick. Let me show you some of the things I'm working on right now. I had all these bottles donated to me. So it's, I have a basement full of them. I just asked people to send them to me, all my friends. I was getting them dropped off on my front porch, so I had quite a few bottles there for a while. And this one, I like the shape. I think this is a tequila bottle. The shape is nice. A little bumblebee, butterfly. So that one I'm working on. And then I'm working on these little babies. Somebody that I know is getting married and she loves succulents so I had a, a bunch of succulent molds and I thought how cute would this be to make these so and and then get little succulents to put in it so I'm not sure how I'll paint them yet or if I'll just do find out the colors of her wedding maybe and just do them in that color I mean even though they are succulents you they're faux so you can do them in any color but these are great I absolutely love this mold they're just they're just beautiful and I stuck a bunch of them together so I have to uh just keep going with these so there we have it I've gotten these to the point where I have the molds all on so I'm gonna let them dry and harden just a little bit before I paint them because when you paint this material when it's wet it it um, flattens out the detail and I want to want to keep the detail on these so especially the little the little bee look at my little bee isn't he cute I'm not sure what color I'm gonna paint these I think since this one you know is a green bottle I might try to paint this all green and then do like an aged patina on this one. And this one I might do spring colors. So we'll see. This is one that I did earlier, I think that I've shown. And this one. They're 
they're just so much fun to do. Okay, this was my very first one. These are made with glue, and that's how I got these little marks in here. So let's decorate. another bottle or perhaps we can decorate a wooden block. I bought the, this at, at home for a dollar and I painted this one, sanded it and painted it. So now I have a nice surface. Another thing you can do, I mean, these are dollars at the dollar store, little canvases, I guess they're cute but you can also paint over them. What I would be doing today is I'm going over these bottles that I'm going to paint. And I'll show you the finished one. I think there was a finished one at the beginning of this if I do recall how I'm going to edit this. But what I'm doing right now is I already made some of these. And when this dries, it dries semi-hard, meaning it's still flexible, but it won't go around a corner. And it never dries to the point where it's like that, like resins. But it dries beautifully. It doesn't shrink. And for these decor pieces that I'm embellishing, it's... Perfect. So I'm pressing this all in here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I can do that to get it into these. I just kind of make a little wormy. Stretch it out and work it in. You want it a little thicker? Just go back in. You want it a little flatter? Just go back in. And the nice thing, for instance, these leaf, leaves, little leaves, if they didn't have a little stem, you could make a little stem for yourself when you pull them out. And I have a little too much in here. I'll scrape some of that off. The more you need it, the uh, more pliable this model magic gets. And the nice thing is you get a little butter knife here and if you get it in too thick, you just cut it right out. And you kind of push it in there and I don't want it to be too thick. Let's so see, it's what I did over here, it just went in. Cut these down a little bit. Get them in there. Work that in really well. Even this, I don't, this leaf is a very, see how thick this leaf is? I don't need it to quite be that thick. Actually, it's this one here. It's pretty thick. And it's gonna go on a bottle, so I don't need it to be quite that thick. I do want it to be detailed, so I'm pressing it down. And this mold by Redesign with Prima is called Winter Bloom. Not sure which bloom it is, but it's called Winter Bloom. So, let's see how easy they are to get out. These are real pliable. And then I got the idea to do some kind of a multimedia board. What do you think? I'll take a picture.
So if you just kind of work it first, peel them right out of there. And just to make them so they're not all the same, because you know, I'm gonna use the same mold here for more flowers, just to give them that individual look so it doesn't look a repetitive. Even though leaves on a plant are all the same, they're all different shapes and sizes. So the other two I took directly from the mold and I didn't manipulate them. These two, I'm just gonna manipulate a little bit. So same, I did this one first. Go around the edges, kind of loosen it, flip it over a little bit. And these molds are food grade. Of course, now I've used them for this, but they, they start out. So I'm gonna leave these just set up just a little bit more and I'm gonna start placing them on my bottle. And I have some Elmer's glue here you can use well, this looks like it needs shook up a little bit. I guess I should have shook it up a little bit first. So I'm going to just start. to keep my hands a little glue free now when these are too wet they do lose some of their detail so so you can paint out some of the detail so you just kind of and I'm just gonna slap it on here I really have no rhyme no reason to what I want to do well, here's the next one so I think I'll I'm not a very neat gluer. Are you a neat gluer? I'm not a very neat crafter. In fact, I'm not very neat at all. <laughs> I think it's the creative e mind. I don't know. Maybe that sounds good. Yeah, it's the creative mind. So. I got too much on my hands. See how it's still wet? Just go right around this bottle. Isn't that pretty? And here's the other bloom. Now these were, I'm recycling them again. I did my daughter's wedding and I'm trying to do a post on everything I did. I did it all myself in the backyard. So I came up with a lot of ideas and I am going to make a post on that someday. It's a little longer than I want it. So I just pinch that off. I want that to be on the front of that. And Shall I do a leaf next or a stem next? Let's do a stem. Just do a stem like that. I don't know what kind of winter blooms have leaves on them. Work these. And I don't mind if. Oh, there goes my cuckoo clock, which means it's four o'clock, and my dogs know that it's their feeding time. Can you stand it? Oh my gosh. Do your dogs, do you have pets? My dogs get fed at four, and they knew that that cuckoo was going to go. 
They're better than me. I have to let Echo remind me if I have something to do. Not my dogs. So let's do this one connected like this. And over here. And then maybe do a leaf over there. I want to do it the three sides. So let's see. Let's do another big one. You just paint and place. And then I'm going to let this set up overnight. Do this one. Well, now I went on four sides, but that's all right. And let's do another long. Oh. Another long stem. in between. How's that? Let's see. I'll just put that like that in between. Once everything's in place, then you can go through and just hold them in place a little longer until they stick. Another little leaf over there. I guess I'm getting four sides, aren't I? Oop. That's what I get for having sticky fingers. Sticky fingers. Do another leaf right there. That's the front. So let's just do that like that. I do have a couple more in there, but what do you think so far? Let me show you one that I did earlier today. Oh, shoot. Oh, cork came off. <laughs> did this one a little earlier. Put some little cute little bumblebees up there. Look at him. And I did this guy. So we'll see. Let's let them dry, and I'll go feed the dogs. I'll be back. I decided not to paint these bottles and as I was cleaning up my craft area found some of this paper that I used to use for scrapbooking and I just got this brilliant idea to decoupage it on the bottles. So I will do that post next so you can see how I got from the beginning of this video to this stage and I have even come up with a more fine-tuned method to really get the detail of these beautiful molds, not to lose that fine detail, but yet get this appearance. So I hope you like this video, and the next one will give you a more detailed look at how to get this finished product. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and ring the bell and all that good stuff. Bye.